It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Regana Art Family. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about do art supplies make the artist? Or does the artist make the artist? So oftentimes beginners and sometimes, you know, on my earlier journey when I was first starting out, I think to myself that uh, a certain tool or a, a art supply or, or a certain art tool is going to, you know, improve my my artwork further. And yeah, art supplies do help. However, they are an uh, an extension as to what already exists within you, your knowledge as an artist. You know, because you know if you're if you're you know if you understand anatomy, you understand. Uh, Know, coloring shading etc uh, it doesn't matter which tool you really use you can still make some well artwork if you have that experience of understanding shading and anatomy of, of different figures and, and understanding how to draw poses yeah you yeah your great with gestures etc you can translate that towards any kind of medium so whether you're translating it into a, a watercolor medium or charcoal drawing or or painting, the knowledge still is the same. So let's say, for example, you already have an you're an experienced artist. You have an you have experience in uh, in shading and, and and anatomy, right? However, you've never painted before, right? or you've never done watercolor or anything like that or digital painting or anything like that you, you but however let's just stick for 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 traditional painting we'll stick to traditional painting for now right so you're an experienced artist that you've never done traditional painting right you know as as you get into traditional painting uh there are some technicalities to you know traditional painting you know certain uh, w certain brushes to use you know understanding how to like wipe the wipe the uh the brush away with with water understanding like certain uh certain like uh techniques that you can do with uh, with uh, painting which includes water and, and various other materials you know these are the technicalities you know and as you master the technicalities uh eventually you can now put in your knowledge of of your prior knowledge of shading and anatomy and etc on towards your painting once you have the technicalities of traditional painting mastered right so let's say you're into uh, digital digital art right if you master photoshop like understand like certain uh, keystrokes you know you understand like the shortcuts you understand what tools are used to uh create the uh, some of the brush strokes you know you understand the technicalities of that you know you understand the technicalities of uh, the hard brush and the surf the soft brush and how to adjust them these are the technicalities you know after you have the technicalities mastered mastered or or it's like ingrained in you then that's when you can start to put in your your own knowledge of of uh of uh, anatomy and color and shading because you have that past experience you know so if we were to compare to to compare like uh, an experienced artist and a, a novice who has who has like zero experience when it comes to art anatomy or anything like that if we were to compare the experienced artist you know the, the the novice that's you know that's going into let's say a painting or or digital painting right all what he would have to do is uh is understand the technicalities of how photoshop works However, just due to the fact that novice doesn't have prior experience of, uh, of you know, anatomy studies or, or shading or anything like that, uh, the, both of the experienced artists and the novice artists first time diving into a particular medium is going to be different. So the experienced artist is going to have a much more of a uh, professional look to his art even though it was his first time because he had prior experience of understanding anatomy and coloring compared to uh, compared to the, the novice who has no experience of that whatsoever and so let's go back to our art to our art tools right so uh you know the tools are an extension they uh, tools make make your life much easier but they don't they don't improve 
your art you improve your art the tools just make make your art making process much more easier you know so let's say for example um i'm just gonna use myself for example right so um i use a uh, a pencil that's a a very uh thin pencil i think it's a one point well, yeah 1.0 in terms of uh in terms of like the uh um how light or thick it is so i use a, a very light thin pen so that i can like easily like uh erase when i want to erase without leaving a a large smudge on the paper now if i were to use a normal pencil and if i were to erase uh it may it, it may build up because of how hard um some of the h hb pencils are you know because sometimes i tend to press hard whenever i i do draw or it, it depends on it depends on what i'm doing uh you know if i'm like uh you know yeah but some i do have the habit of pressing hard you know when i draw so i like to uh use very uh thin lead so that it ha i have a much more easier time erasing without leaving a, a smudge if i make a mistake you know so that's that's like uh that's my that's my personal press my personal preference and it makes life much more easier for me because you know i won't have the smudge and i won't like you know uh i won't have to like kind of edit it out on photoshop and do all that stuff it just makes my workflow much more easier you know and uh likewise for you know tools inking inking tools uh, it makes it makes your your life much more easier easier when you when you even master them you know like for example the G pen uh, the fact how the the very fact how much uh like you can control the stroke with just a G pen you can vary the stroke with just like one pen compared to if you were if you had to have various other uh, various other um, um, Pen, pen weights such as such as the uh, secure micons you know there are there are like various other pen weights such as a uh, uh, zero zero eight zero three zero five you know you can vary all that with just one with just one uh, art tool which is like the G pen so uh, you can go from very light to very thick with it if you know how to control and master the G pen but you know it doesn't matter if I didn't have the G pen you know, I could just I can produce the same thing with the uh, the uh, the Sakura Micons, Microns, right? However, like uh, the G Pen ink can be very black, so it, it really like when when you scan it, it's much more easier to read compared to the to the uh, Sakura Microns. But at the same time, you can still do some Photoshop magic to like edit and make the uh, the, the line work a lot more a lot more darker and, and crisp you know so it really it really does depend on 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 preference and you know our tools are just an extension of it, it makes life easier it, it's an extension of what you already know it is it, it, it's, it, it's an extension of your your experience already you know If you if you lack the experience in certain aspects of art, you won't be able to fully bring out the art tools that you're that you are that you are buying. You know, you won't be able to fully bring out and under like and bring out the uh, the experience of the art tools. For for example, so like for example, uh, coloring right, Copic markers right. So if you're a beginner and you don't understand uh, the concepts of, of shading and and lighting and all that you you won't be able to fully fully bring out the best of copic markers you know because it's an extension of as to what you already know as an artist so the arts so the uh, the art supplies the art the art tools will not will not make you improve as an artist you doing the studies and practicing will make you improve as an artist so if you if you just have a simple if you just have simple paper like simple copy paper and, and, and an average pencil you know you can you can do a lot with that you can you can do a lot to improve yourself with that you know watch a few tutorials practice um do some do some uh live drawings uh and, and etc just just 
broaden your your knowledge your technicalities of how to create art you know understand the the various different types of shades you know do your studies and and practice in a particular medium get better at one particular medium and after you get better at one particular particular medium start to spread out towards other particular mediums for you to you know to you for you to like branch out in you know it's, it's similar to it's similar to coding right you know one program once you once you have an understanding of how one program works you master one program it becomes much more easier for you for you to master uh various different codes so once you master one code it becomes much more easier to easier for you to master other codes because they're they're similar but a lot different you know likewise for 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 adobe products so once you master like one aspect of adobe like it, it's the, the the interface starts to become a, a much more familiar to you and as it becomes familiar it, it's much more easier for you to start to learn you know so start out with one medium if you're starting out, you know, get you have to get yourself, you know, pencils, you know, practice your shading. Uh, and then after that, you know, as you master one, you know, you can branch out into various different, uh, various different mediums and it will translate. The, the main key is to focus on improving, understanding shading, your, your anatomy, your and understand uh, color theory, understand how color works, you know, and etc. You know, and once you have that that knowledge, you you can do that. You can translate it to everything, like every art medium ever. You know. And so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, tell me what you feel about this video. And uh, yeah, peace.